Uh, take us through your uh, summer so far and uh, how you're also feeling um, ahead of this game. Yep. Yeah, a good couple of weeks with the Aussies. Yep. Um, really nice team to be involved in. Helps when you're winning, but just um, always a good learning experience being around good cricketers. And mm. when you come back, it's all about spreading that, that message and the love that you get up there and, and bring it back here. So, um, you know, Zamps and Kez in the same boat. I reckon yep. they're looking forward to playing tomorrow and hopefully pushing for a final. What do you make of the Pakistanis, mate? Because there's sort of a bit of, <laughs> bit of uh, chatter at the moment, um, saying blood in the water and that kind of stuff. But um, you guys fix them up, though. Yeah, I think conditions play into our hands. Um, we saw that in the T20s, the wickets with a bit of pace and bounce. Um, it's a different game, so I reckon the Gabbert's going to be on yeah. those first couple of days with that bowling attack that the Aussies have. So uh, looking forward to watching it. But in saying that, they've got some pretty quality batters and mm. Barbara's arms playing well. So it'll be a really good series, but I reckon the Aussies are going to be tough to beat. What about your attack? Uh, looks pretty good uh, coming this game. Yep. Stamps yourself, yeah. all the boys, uh, Frankie. No. Yeah, well, it was nice to have uh, Frankie Worrell back. It's yep. been a long time coming. Good for him to be back playing cricket because he spent a long time in the gym doing rehab and mm. quality performer. So um, to get him back out there at this time of the year is really handy for us. So, um, yeah, and as I say, Zamps, uh, Cam Valenti's turned into a really good one-day player and, and Wes Agar's had a really good summer so far. So uh, five good options tomorrow. Yeah. Just on uh, some of the test stuff. Firstly, how's Trav Head going? Obviously, he's in the squad looking like a player's vice captain. Uh, how's he been travelling and, and what are your dealings with him kind of been lately? Yeah, oh, I missed that Shield game, so I didn't really catch up. Well, he was in Perth anyway, wasn't he? So um, I think uh, that 100 he got was huge. Um, I probably spoke a month ago about him kind of playing in between defensive and attacking. Naturally, he's an attacking player, so I think he's gone back to you know trying to score runs quickly and that's his natural game so as i said he's a good player so he'll work it out but um one thing Hetty never lacks is confidence so i'm sure um once he gets up there around those boys he'll be fine and um hopefully does take his spot and and just starts the the series well and just on the uh the marsh cup stuff it's looking like a it's a cliche to say must win but a, a win will you know put you in good stead to to make that top two and get in the finals how are you how are the boys traveling with that kind of in the back of their mind yeah, well, it is It is pretty much a semi-final, I think, when you look at the table and we've got a game in hand over them. So, uh, yeah, it's we haven't really spoken about it, but every game's a must-win in this competition when you only play six or seven games. So, um, huge three days coming up. If we can win tomorrow, it takes the pressure off. But, um, yeah, we'll see how that unfolds. They're a really good, really good team tomorrow. So, if we can win that, then I think we're into this competition up to our teeth. So, um, yeah, we'll, I'll tell you at six o'clock tomorrow night, but I reckon the boys are confident in our one-day cricket. And what's it like as a bowler going against a side who've got some of those blokes who can genuinely put on a, a kind of firework mm. display, Darcy Short, yep. Stoinis, some of those kind of guys, what's it like for you? Oh, it's a good challenge. That's that's the beauty of Australian cricket and it has been for a long time. The domestic teams are strong, so um, there's a lot of guys in that team who should be playing for Australia, could be playing for Australia. Um, so for our guys to come up against those teams and do really well, that's what it's about. Um, you saw that Shield game, New South Wales, that team they put out. Any time you can come up against that kind of opposition and do well, you get so much confidence out of it. So um, as I said, we're a confident one-day team, but um, tomorrow's going to be a really good challenge for us. Cool. Uh, yeah, 17 games without a Shield win, mate. Uh, obviously, it keeps mounting up, but this is a different size. So it'd be nice to sort of, if you win here, maybe it could yeah. uh, turn things around. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, winning is in any form is, is good for the confidence. Yeah. But I think, I mean, as I said, I wasn't involved last no. week, but it, from the outside looking in, that was a really yeah. good four days. So um, George Bailey was the difference in the end <laughs> between an outright win. So all you can do is just try and play that next game as well as you can. And um, the progress is there. We're all frustrated that we haven't yeah. won. But I think... I think Coop said yesterday it's not a losing streak. Uh, it's not a losing streak of 17. We've no. drawn some games as well. So yeah. if we can keep progressing in the right way, and blokes are getting runs and getting confidence, and hopefully there's a win around the corner.